If you hate the current state of multitasking on your iPad Pro and wish it could do more, you're gonna love this brand new feature. iPad OS 16.1 has just been released and I'm gonna show you what's new because I think it's gonna blow your mind. Hey there, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. Now, if you've ever multitasked on the iPad Pro, you know it can be super clunky. You often have to have two apps side by side, and it's not really the best way of doing things. So let me show you Stage Manager on the iPad Pro. Now, to start with, when you first update your iPad, you won't really notice anything different. And if you try and multitask with a couple of apps, let's do Spotify and Safari, it just works the old way, the kind of split view. So let me show you how this works. First of all, what you need to do is scroll down or swipe down from the top right here, and you should see this brand new icon here, and this is the Stage Manager icon. Tap that, and we've now enabled Stage Manager. Again, it doesn't look that different, but the magic happens when you first open an app. So tap this app here, and you'll notice that you have these little icons here in the corner, which means for the first time, we can change the size of an app to our liking. Now it is locked to a kind of grid system, but it does mean that we can now overlay more apps. So to overlay your next app, simply grab your app and swipe it onto the screen from the, uh, from the dock. You can see here, we can now resize the Spotify app. We can have it next to it if we want to. We can have it overlapping. Uh, let's just say we want to include Instagram. We can tap and hold, drag this above, and this is the iPhone's version of Instagram. And that's what's cool. You can now run iPhone apps as well alongside your iPad apps. So let's just say we've got Instagram there, we've got Spotify there, and we've got Safari there. We can change the size of these apps and we can have up to four apps running at once, which is really, really cool. Now you might be saying, well, what about this huge dock here at the bottom, what if I wanna get rid of that? Well, all you need to do is simply swipe down and that will free up some of that space. So what I like about this is when you're working now on your iPad, instead of having a slither of an app here and a huge app here, you can actually have two very large apps overlaid like you can on a Mac or a PC and it just makes working between them a lot, lot quicker. Now, next up, there's another feature here where your stages are stored on the left hand side here. So you're not only limited just to the one screen. So you can say, see here, we've got Twitter, which is set up as, st as a stage. We've got the world clocks, uh, we've got notes, and we've got photos, and we've got Safari. So if you wanna go between them, you can swipe out from the side here and simply tap the stage that you want to view, and it will very quickly snap between them. If you have a magic keyboard or a mouse, you can also use a three tap swipe quickly swipe between your different stages. And essentially these are really like desktops to be honest. So back in this view here, what's pretty cool is you can change these apps. Now you can't actually have one app above another. So if I get the notes app or the files app, let's just drag this in here as well. We can have up to four apps running at once. We can't really have one at the top and one at the bottom like you can on Windows or a Mac. It's very kind of locked to these little grids, which is slightly frustrating to be honest. So I hope Apple updates this in a future update. So whilst it will improve your multitasking, it does make it a little bit awkward if you wanna do some research and you wanna have sort of four apps on the screen at once. But you know, the good thing is that you can now actually swipe between them with ease. So what I like about this, if I'm using LumaFusion and I'm doing a bit of editing, I can open up Safari here on the side to, to uh, do my research notes, maybe Google something here, or get a file from files and drag it straight into LumaFusion, which is really, really cool. And then if we wanna go back to this other desktop, uh, we can here where we've got uh, Spotify and Instagram running. But you do have some additional features here as well. So let's just say, you know, we're done with Safari here. If you tick the little icons here at the very top, you do have additional icons. So let's just say you want Safari to go full screen. Simply tap this button here, and this will make this app full screen, much like it used to on the iPad. You can, of course, still scroll between your different stages, but let's look at the other options. So if we tap up here, you can also minimize an app as well. So let's just bring in Spotify here again. Let me just show you that. So let's just say that actually we wanted to, to uh, get rid of Spotify altogether. Uh, we could either close it down, and that will completely close the app, 
or we can minimize it and that will shoot it off to the left hand side and create its own stage up here. So maybe you just wanna separate the apps out, but you still, wanna, um, still want them open, you can do that here. But if you want to actually close the app, you can tap up here and then click close and this will actually shut down the app completely. So in a nutshell, that's really how we multitask now on the iPad. And I've got to say, it's a little bit buggy. I am noticing some slowdown and I'm noticing sometimes some apps will just close and go out of the way. But I do like it. It's better than what we had before. And if you're the type of person that maybe wants to work in Photoshop and then you want to fly back to Safari and then you want to get into LumaFusion or Spotify, you can now do that with this new version of iPad OS 16.1. So just a quick note, this will only work on the latest iPad Pros from 2018 onwards. It won't work with any iPad Pros prior to that, and it will not work with the newest iPad, the 10th generation cheap version of the iPad, or the, the cheapest version. Uh, so just bear that in mind. So you will need a, a newer iPad Air or an iPad Pro to run this multitasking. Now, if you want to close out of Stage Manager, simply swipe down and press this button again here, and this will take your iPad back to its kind of old or traditional view. If you want to go back in, simply tap it again. Now, in this video, I'm only giving you the kind of basics here. If you want to see a really great video, check out our friend Christopher Lawley, who's done a superb video going through all of the details of iPadOS 16. It's really worth a watch because he goes through all of the keyboard shortcuts, every brand new feature in iPad OS 16 and goes into much, much more detail than I ever could. So make sure to check out Chris's channel right there. So are you gonna use these brand new features on your iPad Pro or are you not a fan of this new stage manager? Please let me know in the comments section below. And remember, we have a ton of iPad content here on the channel, especially if you're a creator. So check out those videos next.